When some molecules of methane are trapped within a crystal structure of water, they form a solid similar to ice. The name of these ice-like structures is methane clathrates, and they are largely responsible for the initial unsuccessful attempt in containing the oil spill that rocked the Gulf of Mexico back in the spring of 2010. When the explosion on the Deepwater Horizon oil well occurred, operators tried to funnel the leaking oil into a pipe to be carried to a tanker ship above, thus preventing the ongoing leakage into the water. However, this plan didn't succeed. Instead, due to the low temperatures and high pressure near the seafloor, methane clathrates built up inside the containment dome and blocked the outlet pipe, preventing it from redirecting the flow. Perhaps, if methane clathrates had not been formed, the containment might have worked. Now, a team of researchers at MIT has come up with a solution that just may prevent such a disastrous outcome the next time a leak occurs. And their new method may also prevent blockages inside oil and gas pipelines that are located in environments where methane clathrates can form. The key to their novel system is the coating inside the pipe. In previous work by the same group, they were able to design a way to keep anything from ketchup to paint from sticking to the container walls by first creating a textured coating on the walls and then adding a lubricant that gets trapped by the texture and prevents content from adhering. In this case, the lubricant is already present in the form of oil, so all they need is a coating on the surface that is chemically attracted to hydrocarbons present in the petroleum but repels water. As long as water is kept away from the pipe wall, clathrate buildup can be stopped. In lab tests, which used a proxy chemical for the methane because actual methane clathrates form under high pressure conditions that are hard to reproduce in the lab, the system performed very effectively. The researchers say they didn't see any hydrates adhering to the substrates. Unlike previous methods, such as heating of the pipe walls, depressurization, or using chemical additives, which can be expensive and potentially polluting, the new method is completely passive. That is, once in place, it requires no further addition of energy or material. 